Purpose. It's one of those words. We kind of know what it means, but we don't really know what it means. One of you guys suggested this topic to me not too long ago on how to remind yourself of your purpose in your company or in your organization. In today's video, I will share with you a few ways that can help you find or remember your purpose at work. My name is Jason and welcome to Better Today, a place where young leaders like you come for work-life motivation and inspiration. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button and remember to subscribe. It helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. Do stay until the end of this video and watch out for today's question of the day. We spend at least eight hours at work, 18 hours if you're in advertising. Just kidding. With so much of our waking hours spent at work, having a sense of purpose becomes really important. A clear sense of purpose means you're happier at work, you perform better, which means you probably make more money too and you're a nicer person to be around with. So we get it, a sense of purpose is important. So how do you find it? And if you once had it, how do you remember it? I have a few suggestions for you based on my own journey on how I found my purpose at work. First, try to remember your first day at work, especially how you felt that day. When you first joined your company, do you remember how excited you were? Do you remember how you took in the sights and the new environment and how people welcomed you? The first day high is real because that day wasn't just any other day. It was the day you started a new chapter in your life and your career. New friends, new experiences, and let's face it, probably a new salary as well. Whenever I feel that I'm not sure about my purpose in my company, I try to remember how I first felt on my first day. And I think of all the good things that happened that day, including the giddy slash nervous feelings that I had. The second thing you can do is think about that one person who's still in the company who really, really looks up to you. I genuinely believe that we are all role models to someone. And this person looks at our life and our career as a sort of a peg of what they want to be one day. If you're feeling demotivated or lost at work, think of all the times that you inspired this person and how much of an impact you made in his or her life. For many of us, our sense of purpose is centered around being important or significant to other people. To someone at work, you are important and you are significant. Third, you should think of your one great day. Whenever I feel like I don't know my purpose is, it's usually during a bad day or a bad period. Maybe I haven't done my best in a couple of projects, or maybe my team lost an important pitch. The point is, I think there's a strong connection between the days where we feel lost and the really bad days at work. But there is no way someone has a 100% bad days only work experience. There's gotta be that one great day where you feel like you're on top of the world. Maybe that was your first great job from the boss or your team won your first million dollar pitch or it could be the day everyone complimented your blue jacket. This one great day is special to you and it becomes even more so when you take the time to remind yourself that you can have one really, really, really good day and that it's not always gloomy and that you don't always have to feel lost. Fourth is to remember what you are very good at. Now, I don't think we should attach ourselves to our job descriptions or our job titles, but I do think and I believe that we should be proud of the skills and talent that we have. Maybe you had a bad presentation. That does not mean you are a bad presenter, only that you had a bad day. By reminding yourself that you have done better before and that you will probably do better again, that should help you get back on track. My fifth and final piece of advice is to think about changing your environment. This can be as simple or as straightforward as changing teams or changing departments. Sometimes being around a different group of people can remind you why you do what you do. It can also be about learning a new skill at work, taking on a completely different role or surprise, surprise, switching off and taking a vacation. We are not machines. So a bit of variety and a change of pace can help us find our center again. If this video helped and inspired something within you, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Today's question of the day is, how would you encourage someone who is feeling lost at work? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jason and may your career be better today.